All right, Stephen, let's check out uh, some of your run here on day one of the program. Very difficult conditions, very heavy, wet snow. Um, but I figured we'd still check it out anyway and um, be a nice little base case video to see and compare how much you improve throughout the year back to this one. Um, let's check it out in regular motion, then we'll slow it down. All right, whenever you're ready, Nyman. It's all clear. Yep, here we go. Check it in now a little uh, a little slower. Like we said, difficult snow, pretty heavy. Right, first off, I think this uh, we need to probably try to um, narrow the width a little bit. You get really wide. It's it's pretty hard to roll bull skis up top of the turn with high edge angles. Uh, creating platforms when they're that wide. So let's try to narrow it a tad. And keep a consistent width throughout the entire turn. Not a bad turn there. Kind of rolling them up. Got a pole plan. That's good. Um, you can see the inside ski is obviously a lot flatter than the outside ski. We want to try to roll both up. A narrower stance will help. Um, but you need to roll both up to be matching angles, like you did there. Much better turn there, right? Still a little flatter than the outside, and, and neither really rolled up as much as we need to. But we got that pretty wide width, right? We need to narrow that a tad. Some good stuff there. You got a pole plant going on. It's nice, still pretty wide there, right? Let's narrow the stance. Yeah, we try to want to roll them up and really stand on them, create that platform initially. Be patient. Here, you kind of just toss them sideways, top of the turn, and really want to roll them up. Be patient, stand on the outside ski. Let the skis do some of the work. Um, and, you know, a lot of times you're just not really kind of level. You kind of like. You know, you move to the inside. I know we talked about having a forward diagonal movement, but um, once you do that, we have to level out. It's okay to, you know, we do want to move forward and diagonally into the, in the turn to initiate the turn, but we have to level out. Um, so we have to actively level, create some angles with the body. You can see your body here is pretty much just straight like that. You know, we need to create some angles. Um, getting some upper and lower body separations such that our shoulders are level and we're balanced out over the downhill ski. Right now, you're really leaning in. you got weight on that inside ski for sure. So something we've been talking about, really trying to be level. Um, you know, although it's, it's a wide stance, you were able to roll up a little bit, stand on it. You can see tracks don't lie. You can see uh, those tracks there, you know, are both carved, clean arcs, uh, which is good stuff. And if you got, you know, narrower there, that's kind of really what we want, that kind of width. So it's going to keep that. You widen it right back out again. You can kind of see here, not a lot of ankle flexion, so really in the back seat, you know, in the, uh, the middle of that turn, the skis are on the fall line. Um, you know, we want to see some ankle flexion have 
your shins angled like that against that boot. So really try to get, you know, get those hips up over the boot at the top of the turn. Um, get some ankle flexion. Be really married to the front of those boots, those tongues uh, on both inside and the outside ski. Uh, it's tough on the outside, in the inside ski if you have too big of a lead change. In other words, it's it's too far in front of the outside ski. Um, so here you can see it's it's probably too far in front, and therefore the shin is up and down. I really want to pull that inside foot back um, to create some ankle flexion. But uh, all in all, in very difficult conditions. Some good scan, and uh, let's work on a these things we're talking about. We'll, we'll get some more video for comparison, and I'm sure you'll see lots of improvement this year.